Hi and welcome to Stint with Angela. I'm Angela Palmer and today I'm going to show you how you can use pigment sprinkles. Here are some things that I've made using the pigment sprinkles and it creates a lovely vibrant colour. You can create backgrounds, colour stamped images and colour like this butterfly as well. These are more of a just a mixed colour pattern. This is more of a deliberate colouring. So I'll show you the things that you need to, to have and then I'll show you how to do it. So my first um, advice is it gets very messy. So I'm going to cover up my work area really well. So I've got lots of scrap paper here that I'm going to put down. Okay, I find it useful to have um, like a clear plate that I can put things on because then it's easy to wipe. So this is just for my Stamparatus. Um, obviously you need pigment sprinkles and because you're going to be using water you need something like a spritzer or an aqua painter and the cardstock that you're going to need to use will need to be something that works well with water. So either shimmery white paper or the watercolour paper. So here I've got some shimmery white paper. If you're stamping, because we're mixing with water, you will need to use stays on to stamp your image and then stays on cleaner to be able to clean it off. And obviously a stamp that you want to use as well. And I do find it useful to have some tweezers because it does get messy um, and have some paper towels on hand too, because you'll need those. All right, so let's get started. Um, let's stamp our image. I won't stamp it with that underneath because it's quite harsh. So I'm going to stamp this one here. Let's get that like that. And because it's a large image, I actually find it easier to put it over the top. Now you want it quite dark. I did re-ink my stays on ink pad before. So this is if you want to stamp first. So now it's important to clean your stamp as soon as possible because it is a more permanent kind of ink so you need stays on cleaner. It will not just wash off on its own because it resists water. That's why you need its own cleaner. Alright, so I tend to like to do that. Then I get my paper towels and wipe it. Um, just get in a bit more if I need to to get rid of that stays on. So do it as soon as possible. I also like to use a bit of the spray and that will get in all the grooves. Once the ink's been removed, maybe we'll turn it over. And then once you've given it a good clean, you can also clean it in here. But I wouldn't put it on here when it's got the stays on. Otherwise the stays on will be in your ink pad and then it will affect all your other stamps. So that, now that is nice and clean. Alright, so make sure it's really dry. I've got one that I did earlier. So first of all I'm going to show you just the, this kind of technique. So it's just see how it happens kind of thing. And then I'll show you a more deliberate sort of colouring effect as well. Okay, so... You can, to start with, just spritz it with water. Whoops, let's make sure it sprays in the right direction. Okay, that might be hard to tell if it's got um, water on it or not, but it definitely does. All right, so this pack here comes in six different colors. So I'm just gonna get four of them out today. And these match with stamping up colors. Now, the yellow tends to get absorbed with all the other colors so I'm going to use that one first. So it's like a little sort of salt and pepper shaker. Where are my tweezers? Here I'm just going to hold this down and shake. It looks orange but trust me it will be yellow. Now this like I say it tends to get lost. I'll just show you what happens when I spray a bit more water on it. Isn't that cool? All right, let's go for a little bit of orange. Now, if you forget, because this also looks, they look very similar. It's like, which is which? So read the label, Daffodil Delight. This is Mango Melody. So read it if you can't quite tell what it is. All right, 
and I'm going to add a bit of red. Now red does, which is Milan Mambo, bright pink actually, does tend to overpower it. So whoops, there we go, I've already put too much on. And then I'm just going to make sure that's facing in the right direction and just spray some water. Isn't that cool? It hasn't I'll put a bit too much. Here we go, just so you can sort of uh, move it around if you want to. And, that's what, and it doesn't seem to have quite got in the middle there, so a bit more water. Just spray it as you so it is very wet. You can, if you're careful, get a paper towel and just dab it slightly, but we don't want to sort of affect the design. The best thing to do is then just get some scrap paper, lift it up and put it aside and let it dry. And you can use um, a heat tool to help speed things along as well. So I'm going to put that over there. We'll come back to that. All right, so let's dry, wipe this down. This is why this is really good, because you can just wipe it off. Okay. Um, with my flower, I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing this. So I'm going to sprinkle some of my pigment sprinkles. Now look at this one. This here is Granny Apple Green. But when I look, it's orange. That's just really weird. But actually, we need so this is an aqua painter, mix it with water. It's green. So I'm gonna paint this time the pigment sprinkles on. Then I can control a bit more where it goes. You do need to clean your brush in between changing colours. So just add a bit of water. Still got a bit of green in there, let's get rid of the green. And then so, and then just, you know, whether you want to color particular areas or just um, sort of spread color around. I'm going to use this and cut it out so I'm not too worried if I go over the edges. So I'd kind of do one color first, then clean my brush and then go in with another color. So you, you've got a more controlled coloring when you use the um, aqua painters. So just so to clean it off, I'm just wiping it like so. Right, this is gonna be quite a bold red. So this is controlled. I'll show you one that's not after this as well. All right, whoops, going over the lines, but I'm doing this a bit rushed. I would obviously probably spend a bit more time on it if I you may just want one color and that's fine. I'm just showing you some different colors here um, to create an effect, but doing it quite quickly. Let's go back with a bit more cleaning again. Maybe a bit more yellow or orange, whatever it is. So I probably want to get rid of some of those white lines and things. But it looks very colorful and very effective. All right, so you could spend a bit more time tidying that up but you get the general idea it's lots of fun to play with I just want to try and get rid of any white pieces all right letting that dry and here's another one and I'm just going to go for the what I probably would want to do is we'll make our leaf green as best we can color that in and try not to mess that up Spray on some water first. Oops, that's starting to run. And then we'll try some colors. So Mango Melody, maybe we'll just go with orange and yellow. So that's our orange. And our Daffodil Delight is this one more slightly in the middle. And sprinkle it around. Okay, let's see if we can do that without affecting our leaf. Doesn't that look cool? So that's sort of a mix of colours, but that looks amazing. So our green has run a little bit. So we might just pick up and mix in some colours there. Wow, that's cool. I really like that. That looks stunning. All right, so I can dab it if I want to. 
but I don't want her too much because I don't want to affect how it looks and maybe just it hasn't quite mixed in the middle there here we go put it aside to dry okay so what I'm going to do now is use my heat tool to dry those and I'll show you what they look like okay so I've colored mine with the heat tool so I'll wipe this down and show you what I've created so just remember when you put these together look at the color because like I say you know these look all orange it's which is which so mango melody and this is daffodil delight and then this one here which looks orange inside is actually granny apple green okay so I'll move all my bits out the way and get rid of my not so nice paper but you definitely need something down because it gets very messy okay so this is what I created isn't that cool I think this is my favorite so that was spraying with water sprinkling it on spraying again and just giving that sort of wishy-washy kind of look so this here I could use as a background once it's dry now I could stamp um, an image over the top if I wanted as well this one here that was done more with the controlled colouring with my aqua painter and things but yes that's my favourite so thanks for watching I hope you found it um, interesting and useful and why not give um, pigment sprinkles a go it's lots of fun just remember cover your area and you'll need to wash your hands well afterwards but you'll get some amazing results so thanks for watching bye